well, what is a belief? Quite simply put, a belief is a feeling of certainty. It's like your beer goggles on life, if you want. Um, we don't tend to see things the way we are. We tend to see what we believe they are. Um, think about it this way. There's lots of things that are driving the way you feel on a day-to-day -day basis that are just beliefs. Maybe your beliefs about reality or your beliefs about your relationship or your beliefs about whether you're a fit person or whether you're a creative person or not. These beliefs drive how we feel and therefore drive your behaviour and drive the results that we get. But, but where do they come from? How do we come to have them? What is it that you believe that causes you to feel a little bit nervous? What is it that you believe that's causing you to feel less than confident? Oh, I'm not sure I can actually do this job. Perhaps it's the belief that you're not going to get the results yeah. that you want. Yeah, Brian, that sounds perfect to me. Oh, this guy is not telling me what I want to hear. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I understand that, Dave, yeah, but it just can't be helped, all right. Maybe it's a belief that people aren't going to take you seriously, or you're not going to win the business anyway, or they're only bringing you in to make up the numbers. Yeah, oh, give me a break, all right. With beliefs, it doesn't matter whether they're right or wrong. What matters is whether they're limiting or they're empowering. Do they make us feel great and drive the best, most resourceful behaviour, or do they make us feel not so great and drive less resourceful behaviour? Tiffany certainly believes that everyone deserves respect, but I think she feels she lacks the experience to deal with clients. If you could maybe spare me a very small amount of your very valuable time. And she doubts that clients will actually see her as an equal. Very busy, I know. What I mean by this is that salespeople can carry a whole load of limiting beliefs that don't make them feel great. And the way to find these is ask yourself, well, what is it I believe that causes me to feel nervous? What is it I believe that causes me to feel worried? What is it that I believe that causes me to feel less than confident or whatever the slightly unresourceful emotion that you're feeling is? And there's a whole variety of limiting beliefs that salespeople can have. Wayne believes that the market is the problem. And the reason that his sales figures are down this month is because his clients let him down. He believes that he puts more than enough effort in, but he definitely doesn't. He also believes he has all the skills no, and has absolutely no, nothing no. to learn. No, you were talking about my mum before I spoke about your mum. Right, okay, do you know what? This, right, this comp, you and me are done, matey. Bye. I find for people who are struggling even with this stage, one of the things that's really useful to do is look around and start to notice limiting beliefs in other people. How are other people's limiting beliefs holding them back? Because oftentimes it's easier to see it in other people first and then recognise it in yourself. Sales superstars have really supportive and empowering belief structures. Clearly they are going to be determined by that individual in that situation, but there are a few general beliefs that top salespeople usually have. Yes, I add value. I add so much. You've never seen so much value as what I add to this company. And what about the company? I, I believe in my company. I'm not sure you do. I believe in my company. I believe in all of this, all of this. Down here, over there, I believe in this entire company. I believe in you, 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 all of it. I believe in all of it.